really important to understand the context around immigration. Every year, we bring in about 450, now close to 500,000 permanent residents a year. And that is uh, part of the necessary growth of Canada. It benefits our, our, uh, our citizens, our communities, it benefits our economy. That, these are the levels that we have stabilized and, and grown steadily over the past years because that's what Canada needs to continue to have a strong economy and strong communities. However, over the past few years, we've seen a massive spike in temporary immigration whether it's temporary foreign workers uh, or uh, whether it's international students in particular that have uh, grown at a rate far beyond uh, what uh, Canada has uh, been able to absorb. Uh, to give an example, in 2017, 2% 2 of Canada's population was made up by of temporary immigrants. Now, we're at 7.5% of our population comprised of temporary immigrants. That's something uh, that we need to get back under control, both for the benefits of, uh, of those people, but uh, as international students, we're seeing uh, increasingly vulnerable to mental health challenges, to not being able to, uh, uh, to thrive and get the education they want, but also uh, increasingly more and more businesses uh, relying on temporary foreign workers in a way that's driving down wages in some sectors. So we want to get those numbers down. It's a responsible approach to immigration that continues on our permanent residence as we have, but holds, uh, holds the line uh, a little more on the temporary immigration that has caused so much pressure in our communities.